Here's the headline. 60 years later, he still thinks about it. How could you not? Harold Gifford thinks about the night he safely landed the NBA's Minneapolis Lakers in an Iowa cornfield. It is in my mind a lot. I relive it. Harold was in the co-pilot seat, flying the Lakers from St. Louis home to Minneapolis. Lights and radio on the fritz, caught in a massive snowstorm and low on fuel. So I had to make a pretty gutsy decision at that point. The Air Force veteran brought the plane low over Carroll, Iowa. Water towers are 125 feet high and we were below that. Outside of town, he chose a cornfield. It was the only place that made sense. When I was a kid, I rode on the elevator in a cornfield. You'll never find a rock or a hole. It's smooth sailing. Ears of corn banged on the plane's belly for the length of three football fields. And we came to rest, and I'll tell you, it was pretty quiet in that airplane. But once we settled down and I cut the engines, the loudest hollering and screaming you could imagine. People high-fiving, and when they get out the door, they're in snow up to their knees. To this day, he bristles when people call it a crash. I was totally relaxed. It's just as a, an unscheduled landing. Harold still has the placemat the team signed at breakfast in Carroll the next morning. You were able to save the lives of 23 people and then live for 60 years, a great life, by virtue of having pull that off. At 96, Harold Gifford still hasn't stopped being grateful. I'll tell you what, I'm one of the luckiest guys around, and I'm still going. Well, Harold told us with pride the DC-3 was later flown out of the field and put back into service. A housing subdivision now stands there with the basketball court at the site of the landing. The <laughs> LA Lakers donated $25,000 for the court, and Harold was there 10 years ago for the dedication. That's crazy. He is, yeah. he is great. Oh my I mean, gosh. what a memory and sense uh, of humor. 96 and the details. I mean, he told us uh, it, it, it spray painted on that water tower, class of 59 seniors. <laughs> he remembers <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, he remembers seeing that. And then you were saying in the newsroom that people were up and around the plane because it was flying so low it woke everybody up. Exactly. Right? So, so the first responders quickly. were already heading out of town because the, the plane woke up everyone in town as they were circling the town looking for a place to land. And you also said the town heard all this, like, Screaming. Screaming. Oh, the, the whooping and hollering. screams of joy. <laughs> <laughs> no, the first responders thought, oh, gosh, death, mayhem. <laughs> and it was just everyone celebrating. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank wow. you.